Hello? Why, yes, I would like to suffer. Hey guys, welcome back to the worst show on the internet. Make me suffer. You know what makes me suffer? When I'm trimming my balls and I accidentally nick my scrotum. Not good. That's why this video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the only men's brand dedicated to below the waist grooming and hygiene. Manscaped.com has the perfect tools for your family jewels. Uh, if you use my code SHAY20 on Manscaped.com, you will get 20% off the perfect package 3.0 plus you'll get two free gifts. Here's what's inside the perfect package 3.0. This is the new Lawnmower 3.0 water resistant trimmer from Manscaped.com and it has something called advanced skin safe technology to reduce the risk of nicks and cuts on the boys. Also in this kit, you get Crop Preserver Anti-Chafing Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Ball Toning Spray. One of the free gifts you get if you use my code SHAY20 is this right here, it's the Shed Travel Bag. Very nice. And you'll get a pair of Manscaped Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. Not pictured because perhaps I'm wearing them right now and they're super comfortable. In addition to all those wonderful things, if you use my code, you will also get free international shipping. So check it out, manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you, and so will I. All right, guys, so first of all, today there will be chunky milk. Obviously, I promised I would do it for this video. I think there might've been a like goal. 10,000 likes, and in the next episode of Make Me Suffer, which will probably be like two weeks from now, I'll, uh, I'll make jello out of milk. It was a while ago now. Point is, I'm gonna be trying chunky milk today. Later on in the video though, of course. And yeah, this is a, this is something I bought on wish.com and I'm actually quite pleased with it. It's a giant AirPod. Now I can really flex on people. And technically, I have 25% uh, hearing loss in my right ear, so it only makes sense to make the Air, AirPod bigger. It also has an FM radio. Like, listen, listen to this. Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth mode. FM mode. FM mode. <laughs> Guess we'll start with the current hottest post on our Make Me Suffer, guys. Of course, that's a thing. Bridge piercing for your lenses. Why would you do this? I mean, hella convenient, but I also feel like no. I feel like that would actually be kind of uncomfortable after a while, or probably right away since you put something through your skin. You know? What I really want to start this video off with is the can guy. The can opener. The way he opens the can. This is uh, <laughs> classified under cringe. I wonder why. Pepsi the best. Pepsi, Pepsi the, the best. best. What? All right. Is she... Pepsi the best, guys. Man, you already know what the fuck it is, boy. Chef boy, boy, big dick gang. Niggas prepare they fucking with me. What? Lime juice. Huh? <laughs> Lemon juice. Hold on. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Clean me off, fam. Yeah. Anybody fucking with us? <laughs> <laughs> That's an awful lot of swag, dude. <laughs> I, he, <sighs> those are his real eyes, right? Those are his real eyes? I mean. At first I was like, he turns away from the camera, you know? Just why, watch this. Hold on. Hold on, right? <laughs> what is, what did he do? He turned around to make his eyes pop out. But then he just went back in at the end. No cut, no turnaround, no nothing. This guy really squirt lemon and lime juice in his eyes and then get his face sprayed with Windex? What a champ. What a champ. Feel like me trying chunky milk's not even a big deal. Egg pizza with banana and fish. I can only assume you didn't actually eat this pizza. Whoever made this pizza, it was just made for a joke, right? Tell me this was just made for a joke because this sounds friggin' awful canned human organs. They low-key look kind of delicious. That's annoying. <laughs> this makes me pretty uncomfortable, guys. There should not be a pocket, a, a bulge coming out of your wall in the paint. You might want to pop that. I actually, I want to see you pop that now. That makes me suffer. 
I don't know if this was here last time I made a video, but we have a new bot that checks posts for suffering. Pretty amazing. It's called Sufferworthy Bot. If a, if a post gets, if the if the comment gets negative points on it, it deletes the post automatically. So the moderators have an easier job controlling the actual Sufferworthy content. Lately, uh, it's been pretty good. The, the sub goes through phases where it sucks and phases where it's pretty great. I think we're in a bit of a great period at the moment, but it might only last a few days. Delicious aged mac and cheese I left for two weeks. Don't eat that. I uh, don't not even for the not even for the views. I only eat things that are safe for me to eat, so <laughs> this is called a uh, cursed point of view. <laughs> Why? What the last Pringle in the can see? <laughs> Yep, this is uh, slightly bothersome. This is one of those like entertaining sufferworthy posts that doesn't make you like, doesn't ruin your mood for the rest of the day. Here's something else you guys are probably gonna want me to try. So um, figured I would figured I would show you, get your opinion on it. I'd like for this video to get 10,000 likes. I'm gonna go get the chunky milk now for you. We're gonna try out some of the chunky milk now. Japan, why is it that your, your bottle, it's all Japanese, except for the title, which is in English. Bilk. Anyway, 10,000 likes, and in the next episode, I will try bilk. I will mix beer and milk together to see, see if it makes me suffer. Now, are you ready to see me suffer with some chunky milk, guys? I did a little experiment for you. I tried different amounts of gelatin in the milk, and I'll show you what happened with each. Oh man, I didn't get a spoon. That's, that's the milk. I always use whole milk, guys. I gotta go get a spoon, I'll be back. All right, here I am. Uh, so this is chunky milk. One cup of milk with, uh, I think it's a quarter of a pack of gelatin in it. It's actually quite liquidy. <clears throat> milk just a little thicker. It's thick milk. Two C's, of course. This is half a pack of gelatin. As you can see, the milk is uh, yep. I think I got this wrong. I think it's an eighth of a pack. Damn it! Why does everything suck? Oh man, it's thicker, so it doesn't quite come off the floor as easy. I'm starting to get worried that I'm not gonna enjoy this, guys. <laughs> anyway, um, this one has half a pack of gelatin in it, and as you can see, it's legit. It's, it's thick. This one, this one has an entire pack of gelatin in it. So if you're wondering what completely, like, gelatinous milk, you're wondering what that tastes like, It's fine. It's fine. <coughs> ah, it doesn't taste bad. I got a little bit of residue on my fingers. It only just made me gag a little bit because of the texture. Milk's not supposed to be like that. Now my mom, back when I was a kid, she used to make jello, but instead of the one cup of cold milk, she would put in um, one cup of, uh, milk instead and it, she called it fluff and it was actually delicious but it had flavor this just it's milk it's like milk went bad or something anyway i didn't throw up just uh just gagged coughed a little bit <clears throat> so uh anyway point is that milk there's a little too chunky full pack of gelatin in there you're supposed to, it's it's supposed to set two cups of liquid so it's double double jello which is great sometimes. I double my jello. I put an extra pack of gelatin in to make it extra thick. What I think, personally, is if you want chunky milk to be the chunkiest and the grossest, you should probably combine the uh, thick milk, which isn't quite, oh, that was a chunk. Combine that <clears throat> with this one. Stir it up first, like this. 
okay see those see those chunks see that I regret everything if you pour that in here like this this is the way milk was meant to be enjoyed. Uh, maybe get a little bit of the even chunkier one in here. I am preparing the chunky milk for consumption. My editor hates me, doesn't he? What's new? Did you guys know the sky is blue? Shouldn't, shouldn't be like this. <coughs> it's fine. It's fine, but it could be chunkier. Just give me a second. I'm gonna, give me a second. I'm afraid to really drink much of this because I don't actually want to throw up. Now we're putting the extra chunky into the milk. There we go. That's the good stuff. My girlfriend was uh, cringing and suffering at the idea of me trying chunky milk. I was like, man, I gotta do what I gotta do. Now this is looking nice and chunky. You see those chunks in there? That's the way milk was meant to be. Just gonna try a little bit. It's good, it's really good. Yum, guys. Jeez, why don't you, why don't you try this? No, I'll try, I'll try it some more. <coughs> Yum, yeah. yummy. This is good. I'm gonna leave you over here so I can eat you later. <laughs> later. Okay, um, especially this one. Yeah, that's, that's real chunk. Folks, I've come to the conclusion that Chunky Milk is suffer worthy. You heard it here first. Chunky Milk review, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Would eat slash drink again. There's little bits of chunk left on my desk. We gotta get back to the rest of the video, man. Don't expect me to try very hard with the rest of it, guys. I think I've entertained you enough. If I've entertained you enough, can you smash that like button? I gagged on this shit several times for you, and next week it's Bilk. Next week we're doing bilk. You know what happens when you put like a uh, uh, acidic substance in milk? It curdles. Could be bad. I don't know. They sold it for a bit. It's no longer made though. <laughs> I wonder why. Curly hair pictures. That that's not curly hair. Here's a good one for you. This dog toy and its production process. I was so confused when I saw this the first time. I was like, what are you doing to that dog, dude? I think there's sound. Sort of. Look at the way he just rams that dog ass again. <laughs> One of my mods was like, hey Matt, you should show this in a video. I don't know if it's video, like, can, can you put this in it? I can totally put this in a video. It's pretty mild. You're not wearing face mask, honk. And then he cuts off his face. I don't like this one. I think this one sucks. That shit is way too realistic. I mean, props to the person who made it. It looks delicious, but it's gross. Oh yeah, this one. Yeah, what, why? No sound on this one, guys, sorry, but uh, check it out. How does one do that? The sparks flying out of his mouth? I get mouth sores if I drink hot coffee too much, man. I can't imagine what that would do to my mouth. The things people do when they're in front of a camera, man. <laughs> this is the guy who just tried chunky milk. This one gets worse the longer you look at it. At first, it's like, wow, why would you put um, your internal organs? Why would you tap? Wait a minute, that's not. Those aren't internal organs. That's. Those are cats. Okay, she's pregnant with cats. Why the bananas though? Why the bananas next to the cats? If you don't like holes, <laughs> don't watch this video. This is a place called Hell Hole. Yep. Be you know why? Because it's a hole. Uh, we're in. And it's hell to go in there. I mean, luckily they're smart enough to take like ropes with them so that they can get back out again. But dude, I got better things to do with my time than crawling through holes I can barely fit through. Okay, that's what she said. We don't have food and we can't go out, says the Teletubby. I have an idea, says the other Teletubby. So he turns on his stomach, plays the 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 ring, and the girl, I'm assuming they ate the girl. I think that's what's happening here. You want a gross body horror? Here's some gross body horror. Is it though? 
I don't think that's gross body horror, man. This one's bad, guys. <laughs> My little sister made a 110 second story of her sleeping hamster. Come to find out he's been dead all morning. Shouldn't be laughing at that, man. I've had a lot of animals die on me in the past. They all eventually do. My mom told me that much. Thanks for the great advice, mom. This is pretty legit. This is a good one. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know what's with the box here. That's that bothers me a lot. But you know, since TikTok, things have been a little bit weird. Vertical videos. They, I, people still hate them, right? But it's like one of those things. Like vertical videos. If you want your video to go viral, it's got to be vertical now, dude. So you're totally screwed. Anyway, this is a stuck contact. Look at this guy I'm trying to pull his contact out. Pulling his eyeball out instead. Oh, <gasps> yeah, uh huh. I'd be a little bit worried too if I were you, buddy. That's not how eyeballs are supposed to go. But then again, that lemon lime guy, he would beg to differ. I think I want to stop now. I think I'm just gonna leave you with this one. I, I like this post a lot. This realistic alien baby doll that looks like Dobby from Harry Potter. What I like about this one is the uh, the first comment down here. Sorry, I. Uh, Gave Dobby the wrong sock. <laughs> master has given Dobby a sock. Since there's something in the sock, Master, what is it? And that's how, that's that's where elf, uh, house elf babies come from. That's, um, that's it. I think that's it. Uh, 10,000 likes if you want to see me drink bilk. I don't know if I want likes on this video. Maybe I'll be lucky and this video will flop. Sometimes the Make Me Suffer videos kind of flop a little bit. All depends. I thought maybe Chunky Milk would be enough to get you guys to this video. I hope it was worth the click. If it was, one more click and then you can click away. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.